People packed the streets along Main Street in Louisville today for their 87th annual Labor Day Parade. But as we in Colorado are commemorating the holiday, its activist roots are particularly visible. Unions are challenging how workers are treated from Hollywood to help organizations right here in our state. Thanks so much for joining us for Denver 7 News at 6 this Labor Day. I'm Jacqueline Allen. And I'm Danielle Kreuter. Between contract negotiations, demonstrations, and all-out strikes, 2023 has been a busy year for the labor movement in Colorado. Denver 7 News' Brandon Richards begins our in-depth coverage. He spoke with union leaders this Labor Day about how they're working to improve pay and conditions across industries. On this Labor Day, union workers in Colorado demand better. I think the working class has been under a significant strain for a really long time. I think it's a lot of people are under a lot of strain right now, just trying to make ends meet and working full time should be enough. We sat down with union members and leaders of the Boulder Area Labor Council to get their perspective on the flurry of union activity taking place in Colorado and beyond. People realize that they're not getting wages up, they're not being heard by their bosses, and they're not being respected by their bosses. 3,000 Colorado health care workers could strike in a matter of weeks. Their union voted to authorize a strike if a new labor agreement can't be reached with Kaiser Permanente by the end of the month. And the Colorado chapter of SAG-AFTRA continues to stand in solidarity with ongoing strikes that halted TV and movie productions, including in Colorado, which is home to about 600 members. Now, in addition, auto workers are threatening a national strike, as are flight attendants with American Airlines and pilots with Southwest, all of them demanding better pay and better working conditions. Connor Hall, who's with the United Food and Commercial Workers Union, Local 7, says he knows all too well what it's like to work for a company that doesn't care for its workers. He says he had a bad experience working for a well-known grocery chain. They came down hard. They fired people. They intimidated people. He says having a union behind him makes a big difference. Not only more secure, but I would say that it's it's the most respected I've ever been by my employer. On a day meant to celebrate workers. To the workers, open your eyes and, and gain power. Um, the, the, the path is clear. These Colorado union members say everyone gains when workers do, and they believe major corporations will come to see that too. I think some of them are gonna fight him, but I think as more and more people see the benefits that come with it, um, it's going to be hard for them to continue to fight. Just go ahead and work with your union instead of spending millions and millions of dollars fighting it. In Boulder County, Brandon Richard, Denver 7. Now taking the conversation further in depth, data collected by the Cornell ILR School Labor Action Tracker shows in July alone more than 320,000 U.S. workers went on strike and that is the most we've seen in three decades. Now the surge in workers demanding more rights got us wondering what's happening within the labor movement here and across the country. This is a formation of a perfect storm and what I mean by that is three things have come together over the summer. That's a business professor with Arizona State University. He says those three factors are low unemployment, rising inflation, and record high company profits. It's a small window of opportunity. This time will pass. The labor unions are recognizing that we are in a position of negotiating from a position of strength. And that's the reason you're seeing so many strikes. And digging deeper, the past year did not see any major changes in Colorado's labor laws, but one change affecting sick days took effect this summer, and more are set for the start of the new year. Beginning August 7th, workers are now allowed to use paid sick days for family funerals or when weather emergencies for school or workplace closures or evacuations. This is part of a revision to the Colorado Healthy Families Workplace Act. Starting next July, employers can no longer ask job applicants about their date of birth or any indicator of age. That is part of the Job Application Fairness Act, which passed this year. But that will not apply if age limits are a condition for the job, such as federal rules for airline pilots being under 65. You can read up on all the upcoming changes to Colorado's labor laws on our website, denver7.com.